Um, the Daily Mail has a very interesting story that's saying uh, that Vladimir Putin essentially may be running out of bullets, that he might have a week and a half, two weeks max. He's losing warplanes, tanks, all the rest of it. He obviously went into this thinking he was going to bulldoze his way through Ukraine. He's obviously caused a lot of destruction. Don't want to minimize the fact there's over two million refugees. But this has not gone as well as Vladimir Putin expected. I don't buy it for a second, Ed, I'll be honest with you. I really mm. think that um, there's so much misinformation. We've never really seen anything like it. I mean, I've been covering wars now for 35 years, and I have never seen people with their nails done in the Ukrainian flag, right? I mean, we're being corralled into this box where we either have to hate Vladimir Putin and believe everything evil that's said about him and love Ukraine, and there's no in-between. And that reminds me a lot of you're either, you know, um, a white supremacist or you go with the Democrat narrative on everything under the sun. Uh, what Russia has done from the very beginning has been very strategic. They didn't go straight to Kiev. They went to all those uh, bioweapons laboratories that are scattered all over the country. Some of them they built, so they know where they mm -hmm. are. They've known where they are since the Soviet Union because under the Defense Threat Reduction Program, um, we went in after the fall of the Soviet Union and supposedly turned those facilities in, from bioweapons labs into public health labs. Although, um, you know, these days it's hard to believe anything that our leaders tell us because they've lied about COVID, they lied about Russia collusion, they lied about U the Ukraine impeachment trial, and there's so much mm -hmm. more going on in Ukraine that nobody is talking about. You see such dishonesty when it comes to the history of Ukraine. You see dishonesty when it comes to the Azov Battalion, which is funded by the U.S. and NATO. I mean, you can find pictures of them online holding up the NATO flag and the swastika at the same time. Their own emblem mm -hmm. contains the Black Sun of the Occult, which was a Nazi SS emblem. And it also contains the sideways, you know, uh, lightning insignia of the SS. I mean, this is on throughout the Ukrainian military. You can see that Black Sun of the Occult on their uh, body armor, even on the female soldiers who are paraded in front of the world as being, you know, such an example of Ukraine's um, independence and spirit and nobility. Even they are wearing the black sun of the occult. And, you know, the, we want, the White House wants you to believe, well, this doesn't matter, it's just a small number of troops. It's not true. The Azov Battalion has been murdering its way through eastern Ukraine. Yeah. We don't want to admit this. This was why Crimea voted for independence. This is why Crimea talking... wanted to be with Russia. Because sure. we in the media, in the Western media and in the West, won't acknowledge the reality of what's gone on. Western Ukraine backed the Nazis. It was a headquarters for the Nazi SS. The CIA are, under Alan Dulles yeah. actually gave immunity from prosecution to the Nazis of Ukraine hmm. from the Nuremberg trials. So um, there's a long history of the United States and our intelligence agencies funding and arming Nazis in Ukraine. These are not like new neo-Nazi groups that sprung up. These are the actual Nazis from the Second World War, who, if you go back to the Nuremberg trials, said that they were planning for a thousand-year Reich. And so you have to really wonder, as you look at this, when you know that the CIA sponsored the color revolution in Ukraine in 2013 and 14, that they selected Ukraine's leaders, go to the... Um, Go to Victoria Newland's leaked phone conversation where she and the U.S. ambassador are deciding who can lead Ukraine. I mean, there's as much right. interference here as you could possibly imagine before right. you and even Laura. get to Hunter Biden, Nancy Pelosi, John Kerry mm -hmm. and Mitt Romney and all of their children who are employed, who earn millions from Ukrainian you are gas pointing. companies.